System stability patches, forget about them. We want the good updates. Let's go. How can the Switch be improved with some software updates? That's what we want to yes. discover today. And now they have done a couple. I was really impressed with the last one that expanded the volume range because that was one of my issues with the Switch. I was like, it was it's too quiet. too quiet out loud and in headphones, but they increased it through software. How crazy is that? I didn't know that that could be done. That's amazing. I mean, they must have been limiting it before, so oh, I don't know. There you go. So we're going to talk about things that they can do um, to improve it in the future because they already have. Yep. Um, one is the internet. They need an internet browser. There's no internet browser. There's like janky ways of making it happen. Yeah. Um, some hacks or whatever, but right. they just need to make it happen. They did it with the Wii U. They did it with the Wii. Mm -hmm. um, give us Opera or whatever it is. <laughs> just give it to us. How about preloading games? Because this is a feature that was introduced on Wii U where you could pre-order something and actually download most of the data. Now, not playable because there'd be an essential part of the code left out. Right. A small packet that you could download on launch that wouldn't take an hour or five hours, depending on how busy the Splatoon 2 servers yeah. are. Yeah. So that'd be great. We've talked about it before and we'll talk about it again. Nintendo account integration. Yep. It needs to be more seamless. Friend codes need to become a thing of the past. Or, I can't believe it. You know, it, it, Facebook is so easy. You search a person's name, you find them, and you friend them. Yep. If the, somebody friends you and you don't know them, you don't accept the friend request. Right. It's that simple. Especially if it's like, hey. Hey, I, I'm a single <laughs> girl in your area. You know, what get about that. themes like the 3DS had? And I don't think they ever made it to the Wii U, but this was a cool feature no, of so. 3DS where you could um, change the background and it would have some music, it would have some little audio cues when you like opened a folder or something like that, and they'd be slightly animated. So I think when, when they sell for a buck or two or maybe even come with a game, like oh yeah, it'd be a great way to incentivize... Um, digital purchases yeah buy the game get the the free theme that'd be awesome voice chat voice mm -hmm. chat is a problem yep. we've been talking about it for years they need to make it a little bit yep. easier thank you nintendo for sending us to discord yes discord <laughs> works what nintendo has is weird and doesn't you can't lock your phone Makes me want to you can't lock your phone. That's so dumb. Stab my eyeballs out with forks. It's, that's worse than not being able to keep YouTube playing when you lock your phone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which they want to charge for. <laughs> Next, what about enabling suspend points for multiple games? Because I've swapped out some cartridges and I accidentally lost some progress. So, oh, Arms actually does this. You can take the Arms cartridge out, play something else, put it back in and it'll ask you if you want to pick up where you left off. So I think That's instead genius. of a game specific, it should be operating system wide, just like you can do on the NES or SNES Classic Edition, for mm -hmm. example. I like that. Um, the eShop, um, being having to sign in with every single purchase as opposed to having like, you know, a account sign in when you first get started yeah. or every once in a while even because i have to put in my long password every oh, time i just open the... it up i just want to look at what they have that's right yeah just do a, a pin or even a combination of button presses right is that the way that they did that with of course i don't know if you know this but like 360 xbox 360 <laughs> heck if we know that <laughs> what about a less janky playtime counter, you know what I mean, if you look at someone's profile or your own, a lot of the games say like, first played six days ago, and it's like, just tell me the minutes and hours. Yeah. They, they're like, played for a little bit. It's like, do we have to do this? <laughs> yeah. Just tell me, tell me how experienced this person is. Yeah, and then randomly 1-2 Switch is excluded. I don't know how long I played that game. I was curious. Curious if I should sell it or not, like but I'll never know. Zero save in that game, except <laughs> except for being able to skip the intros after you played them the first time. Yeah, you have to play like eight games to unlock all the rest or something. But oh, 
And then lastly, um, user pins um, to lock certain users so you can't just like log on right. as your brother or whatever. I heard a podcast where someone nearly lost 75 hours of Breath of the Wild uh, progress because his daughter played on his profile. And she played for just long enough that it took up all the slots except for one at the bottom. Can you believe that? Oh my goodness. So, oh my goodness! What's the point of all of the the um, child parental controls app and stuff like that if an admin account can be gotten into at any time? Yeah, you know that needs to happen. That's the episode, and I guess we were a little complainy. But yeah, we we like to be whiny, <sighs> but some of these are just obvious. Some of these are sensibilities right. that have been here since we've had. Yep. Game systems connected to online. We love Nintendo too much not to say anything. Exactly. I like the way that was put. Don't clap next to the microphone. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to Nintendo Force YouTube channel as well as the Two Button Crew um, YouTube channel. We do this every single weekday. Yes, so. that is where we hail from. But we're always happy to be here every Saturday. We'll see you in seven days. Signing out.